All right, everyone, welcome back for another episode of Carnivore Trade. Today is Monday, December 13th, 2021. So markets really seemingly being pinned here to a 468 on the SPY, um, and that is likely going to be the Monday OPEX close. So we have the Monday, Wednesday, Friday OPEX um, that we have every week, and it looks like we're just pinning it to that, um, that 468 handle right in that range there. We've really been there for the last two hours. Um, markets uh, sold off, went down to 467, then went right back up to 468, and they've just been stuck there. So it looks like a Monday OPEX pin and um, probably some premium burning. Um, it is quad witching OPEX week. And we have the uh, FOMC on Wednesday. So uh, markets just kind of, you know, just in a pause mode right now. Not a whole lot going on. And there probably won't be a lot going on tomorrow either, barring any major geopolitical news. Um, big stories on the day here. Let's take a look at Apple. So everyone knows Apple is the market. Um, we've touched $3 trilly. So Apple, $3 trillion company for about 10 seconds. And then um, it basically a classic pump and dump. Um, oldest trick in the book, OPEX week. So options expire Friday. They pumped it up with calls in the morning. And then look at the flush there. We take a look here on the intraday. Apple gapping up. A little bit of call buying, suckers rally, and then they reversed it. And notice how um, you know the market started to dip a little bit uh, right after the open, and then kind of hung around here, got some support at the 50 and 100 moving average. And then as soon as Apple started to flush, um, it just took everything down. Um, so Apple really, you know, everything was red this morning except for Apple. And then as soon as Apple rolled over, it just took everything down with it. Uh, so it really just goes to show you how thin this market is as far as breadth and as far as, you know, how the makeup of the market is. And we all know it's, you know, basically five or six stocks at this point. And at this point, it's really one stock and Apple is that stock. Um, some other news, Tesla taking a bit of a beating here. It is off the lows, still down 5%, though. Let's take a look here on the daily Tesla. So it did come out. We talked about this last week. Um, I kept saying, hey, look at how Tesla's not, you know, Look at the bounce here on Tesla. Couldn't even take out the high from last Thursday. And then you compare that to, you know, just the spider here um, easily trumped that and, you know, is almost back to all time highs already. But Tesla's been lagging. Well, it came out Friday afternoon. Elon Musk sold another 16 billion shares or uh, 16 million um, dollars worth of shares. Um, so that has been under pressure. So that is probably why Tesla's lagged. And it's actually in danger of taking out this double bottom, but getting a little bit of a bounce here um, as we go into the close here. We got about 10 minutes left. Uh, Tesla getting a nice pop here um, in the afternoon off that level. So being defended a little bit, but Tesla has been a weak, a weak name right now. And we have a lot of insider selling going on this year. Um, I think there's record amounts of insider selling as well and record amounts of stock buybacks. So that is uh, definitely a bit of a red flag. Uh, Apple continuing to dip a little bit here uh, as we get into the final 10 minutes. So let's keep an eye on that one. So that will obviously put pressure on the market there. Um, Another news, uh, triple Qs are lagging a little bit. So down 1.15% currently. Spider down 0.68. Uh, Dow Diamond here down one, uh, excuse me, 0.7. And the Russell down 1.2. So the Qs are, are the laggard again. Um, and, you know, we talked about technology. I said the tech was going to be the weak link going forward. And that's why we attacked it with QID when we did. And um, that paid off nicely. And I think tech is going to continue to lag here. Um, we're seeing a lot of defensive names right now, um, especially later in the day. Um, Walmart, Procter Gamble, uh, JNJ, um, even Verizon coming off the lows here. So a lot of defensive names um, getting bids here in the latter part of the day. Uh, Coca-Cola, Pepsi. So so we're seeing weakness and growth and tech, and um, we're seeing the defensive names get a bit of a bid here. Look at the semiconductors down uh, 2.3. Check out NVIDIA really flushing hard, 6.5% uh, down in danger of losing this pivot here at 280. So that's probably going to want to test the 50 moving average soon. And this green bar low, you got a gap fill right there. So that should have some short-term support. But NVIDIA look under a lot of pressure right now. AMD um, basically about to kiss that 50 MA. Um, Intel, remember that pop Intel had last week? Well, that's faded that completely and is now trading back um, lower than it was on uh, December 6th before that pop. So um, Intel semiconductors coming in sharply and we're seeing the defensive names pop. So again, kind of a, you know, more signs of risk off here. Um, you know, we saw yields coming down a little bit here 
um, and tech still not being able to bid. So even with a lower yield, uh, tech tech is weaker, um, and we're seeing this across board. IWM, the Russell 2000, you know, not looking very good. I mean, this is a it probably has a little bit of a bounce here. I think it's a little oversold off of this little dip here. Um, but I, you know, the Russell's not showing a lot of strength. We're not seeing um, a strong indication that the market is ready to take on risk here. Um, so just, you know, the XLE, again, you know, stocks that do well with high yield coming back in, um, XLF, broker dealers. So these types of things, we wanna see the financials start to lead. If we're gonna, you know, if the, this market's gonna, you know, you know, make a, a new all-time highs like everybody says it is, the financials really need to start holding up and they need to start showing leadership. Um, and if they roll over, that's not a good sign. So we'll just continue to monitor those. Um, let's move on here. Let's talk a little bit about gold. So gold kind of feels like we've been stuck in this little range here forever between, you know, like 1760-ish and uh, really that 1800 handle. I'll we'll call it 1795. So really just kind of just such a tight range here. Again, this is also probably waiting on the FOMC, but we'll see if we get some fireworks. Um, the last couple of quad witch, uh, what were the last couple of OPEX? Um, that we had gold has seen some fireworks into it and afterwards. So um, this one right here, uh, obviously last month, but um, we'll see if we get some more fireworks this month. Silver, uh, we talked about that little pop that it had on Friday. So if it can close above, let's call it 2250 um, on a daily basis, that could take you right up to 23. So silver, you know, showing a little bit of resilience here. Um, but not a whole lot going on in the metals. Again, the FOMC is going to be, you know, really the deciding factor here. And the market is just kind of waiting on that. Let's take a look at crude. So same kind of deal. Uh, we talked about this, you know, possible ABC move up. Um, you know, the move down, up. now you're going sideways. So maybe, again, you could tack that 75 handle if you consolidate enough here. But again, it could just grind sideways until the end of OPEX week, barring any news from the Fed here. Um, other big news coming out. So Bitcoin taking a bit of a hit down 4% right now. Um, they get whacked right before the, uh, COMEX close. Um, so that is, um, coming in pretty sharply and, uh, it did come off the lows though. So, I mean, a little bit of a quick dump there. Um, not sure who liquidated or what happened. Um, didn't hear any rumors, but took a pretty big hit. And, you know, it's off the lows, trying to flag to uh, to rally back up. I think in the near term, we probably see Bitcoin potentially trade up to that. You know, maybe it gets back up to 53, 54, 55, that area. Um, and then maybe it rolls back over. And I think ultimately it's probably going to go down and test that 34, 35 handle um, in the near term. or Well, really in the near term, I say maybe the next couple of months. Um, but I think it has a chance to trade up a little bit um, before then. But Bitcoin taking a bit of a hit and um coming off the lows but uh, we'll continue to watch that as well also uh nat gas by the way last week we took some profits on boil 10.3 percent on friday uh we closed that out friday afternoon nat gas had a little bit of a gap up this morning and then rolling right over so that was a nice play we will be getting back into this so if you guys are interested in that come check me out on patreon link is right over here um once we hit our level we will jump back in on that and uh we'll get into that trade again but that was a E uh, quick and easy trade. Um, we were only in it for a couple of days and uh, it paid us nicely. Um, but Nat Gas coming in, basically filling that gap there uh, left on the chart from the uh, flush down the other week and pulling back off of the highs. So um, I do think Nat Gas is headed lower, um, but it may take some time to back and fill. And again, with a quad witch here, there's any, you know, anything can happen really going into Friday. Plus, we have the Fed as well. Outside of that, um, let's take a look at the dollar. So, dollar continuing to do some backing and filling. Um, ultimately, just to reiterate, we're looking for a move into the 98, 99 handle, um, but this is bullish consolidation. You have the move up. Now you kind of got, you can almost see, almost got kind of like a pennant kind of formation there on the dollar. So if that continues to coil sideways, that is telling you it wants to build steam to attack these pivots here and, uh, you know, attack all these red, all these red candles there. Um, so dollar index actually showing some strength too. And the transports um, actually had a bit of a dip this morning with that big hit on the transports and um, coming off the lows here, but um, another hit there. So really just the, de the defensive names are doing well today and um, tech is taking a hit. So again, we're seeing kind of a risk off type of move here, but we won't make too much out of it. And look at the spiders coming in now. Um, Apple leading the charge lower here. Um, Tesla able to hold up here, but yeah, spiders coming in here. Wow, look at that. So it looks like we had a bit of a bearish kind of flag here, move down and then consolidation. I did not expect a little bit of a dump here, 
Um, yeah, going into the close, it looked like they were going to pin it to that 468 level. But uh, yeah, VXX getting a nice little pop here. So a little bit of fireworks going into the close. Um, wouldn't make too much out of it. I don't think the market's going to do a whole lot before the Fed. But um, nice little dump here into the close. And again, this is on the daily. This is just kind of sideways chop here. So nothing too major happening. But nice little, nice little dump here. Close out the day. And again, look at how tech is already taking out the lows while the spiders are really just kind of trying to hold this double bottom here. So tech is the laggard right now. Um, it's important to remember that moving forward. Semi's getting flush. Look at NVIDIA. Basically testing. Let's take a look back at NVIDIA again. Yeah, so it's almost to that 280 handle. That, yeah, NVIDIA's got to go test that 50-day. Um, so that may even gap down there tomorrow. Microsoft coming in a little bit as well. Broker-dealers taking a hit. Yeah, so there's some selling across the board here. But in any case, uh, yeah, we'll continue monitoring this. Market's closing in about two minutes here. But you guys take care. Come check me out on Twitter, Patreon, like, comment, subscribe, etc. And I will talk to you all tomorrow.